Namaste. The Sanskrit tree is like a Kalpa Viksha. It has almost every fruit that we need in order for us to move forward mentally, physically and spiritually. The seed of this tree was sown when the Sanskrit language was originated. We as individuals come across various languages and accents on a daily basis. But because of the special sonic effects and the proper usage of basic vowels and syllables in the Sanskrit language, it induces a positive effect on our mind and our body which helps in our spiritual development. Also, Sanskrit has the maximum usage of our vocal apparatus and can strengthen the capacity of our brain memory. The first fruit that I'll be covering of the Sanskrit tree is Yoga Asanas with its Sanskrit origin. In the olden days, the wise and virtuous sages walked on the path of yoga. These sages were like children, getting fascinated by everything. From the trees to the shining of stars to the, even the littlest of grasshoppers. By trying to imitate these postures or the, of the surrounding nature with their bodies, they created postures and named them in Sanskrit according to how it impacted and feel to their body. These postures are now called as asanas. In today's world, we get the physical benefits of the asanas if we do them correctly. But do we live and feel in the state of the asana? I don't think so. We conveniently tend to refer as the Nataraj asana as the dancer pose. If only we think of the term dancer, our mind can wander from a variety of a Bollywood dancer to a Bharatnatyam dancer. However, the term Nataraja has many more treasures and symbols in its words itself. The term Nataraja is from the Sanskrit origin, from where Nata means dance and Raja means a king. It, uh, in all, it denotes Lord Shiva, the Adi Yogi, the king of all dancers, creation, sustenance, transformation. Also, one of the mythological stories to which we can relate to with the Nataraja is in which Goddess Parvati and Lord Shiva had a dance competition. Now imagine, you are doing an asana with the knowledge of a meaningful name and a reference of a mythological story with it. So for sure, you'll be able to feel and be in the state of the asana just like the rishis used to do. The asana will come alive in you. Therefore, in each upcoming video, I'll be telling you the origin and the meaning of an asana name along with linking it with the mythological story so that we all can eventually start to retrace back to the roots of the Sanskrit tree and we can start to feel and live in the state of the asanas. Thank you. Nandri Vanakkam.